It's the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. Bring it up. As it is written. As it is written. Read. Jacob, have I loved. Jacob, have I loved. Read. But Esau. But who? But Esau. The so-called white man. Read. Have I hated. Sister and brother, we've been to school before. I know one plus one, two plus two, two times two equals four. I know these things. So you mean to tell me my English teacher didn't tell me past tense? And what's the future tense? E-D yeah. mean that's past tense. These brothers ain't even uh, fit, dropped out in eighth grade, but they're going to try to tell you how to read. The most I said, as it is written, as it is written. And when the most I write something, you, you can't take it back. Jacob, have I loved. The most I say, he used to love Jacob. He don't love him anymore. Esau, have I hated. He said, I used to hate Esau, but I don't hate him anymore. Sisters and brothers, this is the beginning of this class right here. Please tune in. That's right. Esau is not the white man. That's right. He is Jacob's brother. Please believe this, sisters and brothers. Please believe this. What we have, brother name? 14. Okay. No, 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 no. Uh, 13 and um, 9, right? Yes, sir. 9, 13. 9, 13. Read on. Verse 14. Uh-huh. What shall we say then? What shall we say then? Read. Is there unrighteousness with God? So, I'm trying to, that's a question, brothers and sisters. That is a question mark after that. Is that unrighteousness with God because he said that he don't love Jacob anymore and he loved Esau? Is that unrighteousness with that? Man, corner, we would talk that, 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 man, that's, that corner message sell down now to the Nile River. All right, Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the house of David, starting with 144,000, followed by the one third remnant. Shalom. All right, so, so more, <laughs> more reprobatism, if that's even a word. All right, <laughs> more reprobatism from this group, One Body. All right, formerly known as One Body in Yahweh Shah. All right, and, and the Lord taking his name from him, it should be evident, evident enough that he's not dealing with them. The Holy Spirit is not dealing with these guys, man. These guys are false prophets. They are uh, false prophets. They've taken the bag, they've sold out, and they're doing Esau, Edom, the which is the so-called white man, they're doing his bidding, all right? There's, you know, really countless GMS videos proving that the so-called white man is Esau Edom, the devil that the Bible speaks of. So I'm not going to get too heavily into that, all right? But, uh, yeah, these guys are false prophets, man. Now they're saying that the Lord has changed. He now loves Esau and hates Jacob. And that's just complete madness, man. If you if you uh, Israelites out there can't see that these guys are bought and paid for, that they're compromised, then you deserve everything that you get, man, following these guys, which is going to be death and destruction, man. War unto you, man. These guys are wolves in sheep clothing. All right, they're rav inwardly, they're ravening wolves. They're, 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 they're sent to lead Israelites off a cliff, man, to destruction. All right, these guys are false prophets, man. They're not speaking according to the Holy Scriptures. All right, so let's start with that, one of my favorite scriptures. I'll get it in the help. This is, uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 8, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And there's no light in these guys. They're not speaking according to the Holy Scriptures, man. They're not speaking according to the words of Yahweh by Shem Where in the Scriptures does it say the Lord will change and do a flip-flop 
and love uh, Esau and hate Jacob. That's not that's not scriptural, man. That's not that's not written in the Bible, man. So there's no light in these guys, man. All right. The scriptures say that the Lord does not change. All right, because he said, you know, that 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 no, oh, that's past tense. You know, he said he hated Esau and he loved Jacob. So now it's it, it switched. Now, now the Lord loves Esau and he hates Jacob. Well, where's that in the scripture, man? You're adding to the book, man. You're adding to the book. All right, matter of fact, let's go get that one. Uh, Revelation, the 22nd chapter. You're adding to the book, man. Nowhere in the scriptures is it written that the Lord now loves uh, Esau and hates Jacob. You're adding to the book, man. This is uh, Revelation 22. And. 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, the most high shall take. Salakia. If any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. So, th so these guys are adding to the book, man, because he said, well, now the Lord loves Jacob and he hates uh, the Salakia. Now the Lord hates Jacob. And he loves Esau. You know, that's past tense. See, any brother could, if any brother could read, you know, he, he, and he's get, getting on, you know, he, uh, trying to get on Jake, man, saying Jake dropped out of school. Well, you know, you don't have to be studied, especially in this wicked system under, 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 under the rulership of the wicked in the uh, school system. You're, he's making it like you're only going to be able to understand the Bible if you go through Esau's educational uh, system, man. No, it's off, man. That's off. That's not that's not in the scriptures, man. All right? You don't have to be learned in Esau's school system and in, in, in his uh, seminary schools, in, in his cemetery school to know the scriptures, man. Yeah, brothers dropped out in eighth grade and now they're trying to teach you how to read. Well, you learn how to read, read well before you get to the eighth grade, man. So just because you drop out of school, now, now you can't read just because just because you dropped out of school. All right, and I myself didn't drop out of school, man. I, you know, I graduated high school, man. Went to college and everything, man. You know. You know, went to one of Esau's so-called prestigious colleges, man. All right, so, you know, I went, I went to high school, went to college and everything, man. That has nothing to do. With the script, with learning the scriptures, man. All right. You learn from from the men that the that the Lord Yahweh Shemayosha has set up, man. That's how you learn, man. It's not through Esau's school system, man. And I know I'm kind of going all over the place, but hopefully, you know, it, it's making sense to you. Because I'm just trying to prove that these guys are off scripturally, man. Yahweh Shout didn't didn't go to any school, man. He wasn't learned. Matter of fact, let's go prove that, man. Because now he want to get on, you know, brother's so-called educational, uh, you know, level, man. But that has nothing to do with learning the scriptures. Everything is through the Holy Spirit, man. Not through Esau's wicked-ass uh, school system, man. His, 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 his lying-ass educational system, man. All right. John 7 and 15. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man let us, having never learned? Yahweh shall answer them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. So yeah, the Lord deals through men through the Holy Spirit, man. Alright. It goes on to say it right here, John 17, John 7 and 17. If any man will do his will, he shall show, he shall know of this doctrine whether it be of the heavenly father or whether I speak of myself. So yeah, if you've repented, if you came back to rehearsing the righteous acts, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments through the best of your ability, and you know, most importantly, first and foremost, having faith in Yahweh Shah, the Lord is going to reveal these things to you. To, uh, the Lord is going to give you the eyes to see and the ears to hear to understand what's written in the scriptures, man. It's not based on Esau's educational system, man. Yahweh Shah didn't go through Esau's school system. 
Yahweh wasn't learned, man. And you got brothers like that now. That may that may didn't finish high school. May didn't uh uh graduate college or even go to college, man. Didn't go to sem these cemetery schools, man. Has nothing to do with Esau's system, man. All right. But yeah, man. So now back to the uh what I was saying earlier. Now, now so now the Lord loves uh Jacob. The Lord hates Jacob and loves Esau. Th these guys are adding to the book, man. Matter of fact, let's go play the video. It's the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. Bring it out. As it is written. As it is written. Read. Jacob, See? have I love. Jacob, have I love. Read. But Esau. But who? But Esau. The so-called white man. Read. Have I hated. Sister and brother. See what he's saying? Wicked. Before. I know one plus one, two plus two, two times two equals four. I know these things. So you mean to tell me my English teacher didn't tell me past tense? And what's the future tense? ED yeah. means that's See? past tense. These brothers ain't even... Uh, Where's that in the scriptures? What did the Lord say that in the scriptures? I used to hate Esau, but now I don't hate him anymore. I, I used to love Jacob, but now I don't love him anymore. Is Where's that in the scriptures, man? Adding and taking away from the book, man. The Lord is the Lord does not change, man. Let's go get that, man. Let's go to Malachi. The Lord does not change. Esau have I hated. Esau used to hate Esau. Now all of a sudden he is vice versa. Now now Esau is the chosen people and Jacob is is, is the people of the Lord's curse. Now now it's changed now. These guys are completely wicked, man. They sold out, man. It's plain to see, man. Malachi 3 and 6. For I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the Lord will always love Jacob, man. The Lord doesn't change, man. See, these guys is making the Lord out to be a, a, a liar and a hypocrite, man. All right. Because he said in Proverbs, matter of fact, let's go get that. He said in Proverbs, meddle not with them that are given the change. Oh, but he himself, he, 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 he changes. He can change. But tells us not to meddle with those that are given the change. That would make the Lord a hypocrite, man. And we know damn well, Yahweh Bashim Shah is not a hypocrite and he's not a liar. It's impossible for the Most High to lie, man. All right. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Shah is perfect and just in all his ways, man. He cannot sin. He cannot lie, man. See, these guys are making the Lord out to be a hypocrite, man. So why would the Lord say this? Here it is. The Lord changed, but he said this, though. All right. He said this now. Proverbs 24 and 21. My son, fear thou the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, and the king, and meddle not with them that are given to change. Now, he tells us not to fool with people that are, that are, that are, that are given to change, that changes their doctrines, their words, you know. Meddle not with them that are given the change, but here it is, he changed. He now loves Esau and hates Jacob. He 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 can change. He 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 can change all he wants and flip-flop all he wants, but 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 turn around and tells us to meddle not with them that are given the change. These guys are off, man. These guys are, are have complete these guys are completely compromised, man. Alright? The Lord does not change, man. The Lord is the same yesterday, today, and forever, man. All right. The Lord will always love Jacob, man. So like you. The Lord will always love Jacob. Let's prove that. Isaiah 14. Now the Lord, now the Lord hates Jacob. Isaiah 14 and 1. 
For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So the point being, the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. And after all the sinning that we've done, after all the evil and wickedness we've done in the sight of the Lord, the, 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 the elect is still going to be chosen, man. The remnant of Jacob. The Lord is yet going to choose Israel, man. When everything is said and done, the Israel is still the chosen people. The Lord still loves Israel, man. That's written nowhere in the scriptures where it says, now the Lord uh, hate Jacob and he loves Esau. The covenant is always going to be with Jacob, man. Matter of fact, let's do this. Let's, let's do a little experiment. Let's just get some scriptures on that, on, on the covenant. Everlasting. Everlasting covenant. Let's see what we get. This is Genesis 17 and 17. This is the covenant with Abraham, right? So like your Genesis 17 and 7. Let me highlight it. Genesis 17 and 7. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a power unto thee and to, and to thy seed after thee. So the covenant is that is everlasting, man. It's an everlasting covenant. The Lord is the, the Lord does not change, man. Israel is always going to be the chosen people, man. Always. All right. Let's get let's get a few more. All right. Cuz this is It's just these these guys are completely off, man. Jeremiah 32 and 40. This is the new covenant. So even after the old covenant, this is the new covenant. Let's, let's see who, is, who the new covenant is with. Let's see if it's not with Esau. Let's see if it's not with the Edomites. All right. Matter of fact, I'll start at 36 to give you the context to let you know who was who talking about. All right, Jeremiah 32 and 36. And now, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, the power of Israel concerning this city, whereof ye say it shall be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. So he's talk, he's he's talk, he's he's talking about Israel, right? Verse 38. Verse 38. And they shall be my people, and I will be their power. And I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me forever for the good of them and of their children after them. Here's the point. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I will not turn away from them. So the Lord is, it, the Lord is never going to turn away from Jacob, man. Israel. All right. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I will not turn away from them to do them good. But I will put my fear in their hearts that they shall not depart from me. All right, so the Lord is never going to turn away from, from Jacob, man. As I read in Isaiah 14, he's yet, he's going to have mercy on Jacob and he's yet going to choose Israel. Let's go over one chapter. Let's go back one chapter, Jeremiah 31. Jeremiah 31, let's start at the top. At the same time, said the Lord, Yahweh, I will be the power of all the families of Israel. No, all the families of Esau. I will, at the same time, saith the Lord, will I be the power of all the families of Israel and they shall be my people. Thus saith the Lord, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel, when I went to cause him to rest. The Lord hath appeared of old unto me saying, yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. So the Lord has an everlasting love for Israel, man. And that an everlasting literally means everlasting in this scripture, man. It's forever, man. Never to be broken. All right. He has an everlasting love for Israel. So what the hell is this guy talking about, man? Past tense. The Lord, the Lord now hates uh, Jacob. 
and loves Esau. What the hell is this guy talking about, man? He used to love Jacob. He does. Listen to what he says now. All right. Keep in mind the scriptures I just read and listen to what he's, he's about to say. Used to love, doesn't love anymore. Doesn't love Jacob anymore. He now loves Esau. When did the Lord say I, 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 when did the Lord say he doesn't hate Esau anymore, man? See, these guys are not speaking scripturally, man. They're false prophets. They're here to lead you astray, man. They're sent by the devil, Esau Edom. The so-called white man. Let's go prove some scripture that the Lord will always hate Esau until he uh eviscerates him from off the face of the earth, man. All right. Let's go to Exodus. Cause this is this is simple, man. Like I said, if you continue to follow these guys, you deserve what you're gonna get, which is destruction, man. Exodus 17. I start at 15. Exodus 17 and 15. And Moses built an altar and called the name of it Jehovah Nisi. For he said, because the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, has sworn that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. So that's forever, man. Amalek is the head tribe of the Edomites, Esau Edom. So the Lord is always going to hate uh, Esau, man, the Edomites. Let's go to Malachi. Talking about, he, he said... The Lord said he used to hate Esau. He doesn't hate him anymore. That is off, man. That is off. Malachi 1, I'll start at the top. You see the subheading. The Most High's love for Jacob. Malachi 1 and 1. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you. Said the Lord, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau's Jacob, was not Esau Jacob's brother? Said the Lord, yet I love Jacob. Now you see, uh, also here it says past tense, right? It says love, but let, you got to see, you got to read on, man. The Lord, it, the Lord makes his uh, words abundantly clear, man. Because see, they'll read this and say, see, that's, that's past tense too, just like it says in Romans. That's past tense. Well, let's, let, let's see. All right, Malachi 1 and 3. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his hatchets waste for the dragons of the wilderness. See, again, it's, a, it's, it's hated, H-A-T-E-D, past tense. Let's keep reading. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness. Now listen to this now, because they they going they want to say past tense, but listen to this now. All right. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And listen to this now, this is the point. The people against whom the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai have indignation forever, man. Forever. Indignation, righteous anger. So the Lord hates Jacob. I salak you. I've been listening to this damn, this video got me uh, vexed listening to this, these damn false prophets, but I'm going to read it again. They shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, has indignation forever. Indignation meaning righteous anger. So the Lord is angry with, Esau, with the Edomites forever. He, he has an everlasting hatred for Esau Edom, the so-called white man, man. It's forever, man. So what the hell are these guys talking about, man? All right, it's in, the Lord is always going to hate Esau, man. Let's go to Obadiah. He see see the Lord now he he now loves Esau in these last days, but he's still going to do this now. See what sense the, the, see these guys make no sense, man. So that's why you have to have that discernment, man. Because these guys are going the hell off, man. They're false prophets. Let's get it in, in the air. 
See, the Lord changed. He now loves Esau, but yet he's still going to do this. All right. He's still going to do this now. But meanwhile, now he don't hate him no more, but he's still going to do this. All right. Obadiah 1 and 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame and the house of Esau for stubble. They shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau for the Lord. Yahweh Shah has spoken. So why? See, now he love him, but he's still going to wipe him out. He's still going to do this. Obadiah 1 and 18. What sense does that make, man? See, these guys are, 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 are compromised, man. Lies. Esau is the white man, man. Who's ruling the earth right now, man? Who has military bases all over the world, all over the earth, man? All right. Who calls the shots? Who make the laws, man? Sister and brother, this is the beginning of the, the so-called white man. Esau Edom, man. Please tune in. The wicked is ruling the earth, man. Esau is not the white man. That's right. He is Jacob's brother. Please. See, these guys are off, man. See, this is what happened when you take the bag, man. This is what happened when you take the bag. You got you get niggas like this, man. Doing Esau's bidding, man. Alright. These guys are completely sold out, man. So I just want to hit those, uh, I just want to hit those few scriptures, man. The Lord will always love Jacob and will always please, hate Esau. Please. That being the point, man. And like I said, there's countless GMS videos proving that the so-called white man. It's Esau Edom, man. The devil that the Bible speaks of. It's not uh, the so-called Arabs. It's not the, the East Indians. All right? It's not, the, it's not the Japhites. Esau Edom is the so-called white man. All right? So I'm going uh, to close out with this one. Cause these guys are, 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 are bought and paid for, man. They they sold out, and they proved it with with with, with their doctrine, man. Titus one and ten. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. Yeah, ones in this time that calling themselves Israelites. Unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, man. That's these guys, man. You know. And like Elder Apostle Hall said, man, these guys are taking the cake as, as, as the worst camp, man. The Lord now loves Esau and the Lord now hates Jacob. That is, that is completely, <laughs> that, 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 that's about as worse as it gets, man. All right. The Lord now hates Jacob and loves Esau. Come on, man. Titus 1 and 10. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Yeah, man. And that's these guys, man. One body, man. These guys are completely off, man. They've taken the bag. They've sold out, man. They're joined with the Edomites, man. They're under that gag order. They, 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 they got a 501c3, we know. All right. And they, they're compromised, man. This is about the worst I've ever heard, man. The Lord now loves Esau and hates Jacob? Come on, man. Come on, man. That's not in the scriptures. So these guys are completely off, man. They've sold out. They're wicked. They're liars and deceivers, man. All right, but guess what? They're only going to deceive who the Lord want them to deceive, man. Two-thirds, man. They're not going to deceive the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem So these guys are completely off, man. Completely off. They're adding and taking away from the scriptures. They're not speaking according to the scriptures, man. They're speaking their own vain opinions. They're speaking lies. So they're going to be destroyed. At least they repent, man. But I don't see them repenting after making statements like this, man. All right. 
So I just want to uh, speak on that real quick, man, because I saw Elder Pastor Hall's uh, video earlier today. And so this is going to be uh, kind of a, a response. All right, but these guys are completely off, man. They're, they're, they're wicked, they're lies, they're deceivers. If you follow them, if you uh, hearken to their word, to their doctrine, to their lies, you're going to be destroyed right along with them. So get the hell away from these uh, other camps, man. The Lord is only dealing with GMS and its affiliates, man. All right, point blank period in the story. All these other camps are false prophets. So don't follow these guys. It's only going to lead to your destruction. All right. So hopefully this was edifying to the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hope for the elect. The house of David, starting with the 144,000, followed by the one-third remnant. A Bible ball, Shalom.